Well, Afel Money has been declared winner of the just ended GJA elections conducted amidst controversy. Joining us is Latif Idris, who is still at the press center. He joins me live on the line with the latest. Latif, so um, there were many who thought it would be a foregone conclusion that Afel Money would win. Is he there himself, and how has he been reacting to his win? What are we doing? Yes. Speech, you mentioned the issue of I mean the fact that the your the other candidate for the presidency in the register find his name in the register. You are not pleased about that. Uh, this underline the fact that uh, there are no perfect elections anywhere. Even in the citadel of democracy in the US, we had challenges which are still being being, being contested. Um, we've, the recent election in Ghana also demonstrated the fact that um, perfection in every human institution is an impossible goal. But this is a small organization comparatively with a small number of voters. And one didn't expect the, this huge anomaly to emerge. But I believe this does not obscure the fact that media workers have spoken and they've spoken loud and clear, given the, the huge margin between the votes are garnered and what my closest opponents also had. So going forward, you mentioned reforms in your acceptance speech. What immediate reforms should we expect as members of the association? Our constitution now is bleeding profusely, number one, from blatant violations of specific stipulations in that document. So our first step is to start the blood flow contextually to amend the constitution. We have also unionized, and this imposes more pressure and responsibility on us. We, we need the structure which will respond to the challenges of unionization to, in order to change the profile of Ghana workers in this country. It is a huge mountain to climb, but I believe the, the, the media fraternity will support me and we shall succeed. We have other challenges with unity, with uh, divisions, so there's a need for us to build bridges of unity, reconciliation, and forgiveness. No, we have, we have offended each other in the name of politics. All the atmosphere was poison ahead of the elections. The spread of poison was incredible. Because people, you know, I, for instance, was the target of, of that poisonous, or those poisonous attacks from, from some of the competitors and their supporters. How did you, how did you take that? I remain unflappable. Because as a leader, you should be able to show stock exterior, even in the face of difficulties, even in the face of adverse uh, conditions. Did you panic at any point in the run-up to this at election? At all. But by nature, by nature, I, 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 I'm disinclined to be deflected by, 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 by comments, adverse comments. So I maintained my cool, and I knew the, the good people of journalists who, who speak and they have done. Would so, you try bringing on board Mr. Lloyd and Sure, John? Lloyd has a key role to play in my administration. Ours is going to be an all-inclusive and not exclusive administration. Lloyd has made his name in, in the financial sector, and we need, and, and as I said, it's best repeating, that no one finger can wash wash watch the face. I can't say my name for me. I alone cannot do it. So I'll bring on board, I'll persuade them, and also forage for ideas from other centers and other areas in order to build a better GJA. Should we expect a GJA that's going to rock shoulders with, say, the medical association? The, in view of the unique position we occupy in the democratic governance structure, you cannot compare Ghana Medical Association to GJA. We are, but some are more professional. But it, to quote my case, no. 
Journalism is the best profession in the world. And not medicine, not law, not even priesthood. So as I said, we occupy a strategic position because we exercise oversight responsibility or other branches of governance. So we, we are unique. And there's a need for us to act in such a way as to reflect our, our unique nature in the government structure. Would you change the way you've managed the association over the years? I would really expect some change in leadership. From it is said that change is an essential ally of progress. Whoever opposes change is an architect of, of, of decay. So we already started a change. We've changed our uh, code of ethics. We changed our constitution to reflect a new status of, of a union. So the change is ongoing, and change is a process and not a destination. So we continue, as I said, to forge ideas, to seek support from all others because no one person is a repository of wisdom. It will take all of us to build an association which will ignite pride not only in us but also the media consumers. Thank you very much. Mr. Thank you. So that's the president who has been re-elected, Mr. Afelmoni, here at the press center in Accra. And I would like to quickly run us through some of the results that came through today uh, as far as the national coalition is concerned. So uh, we started with the position of public affairs. Mary Mensah has been elected for that position. Uh, Mary Mensah is with the Graphic Corporation. Uh, then we have Mr. Albert K polling 302. He's also been re-elected. We go to the general secretary position, and Edmond Kofi Yabwa polled 251. And so he has been re-elected for the position of general secretary. Then we go to the position of vice president. That went for Linda Santi. She polled 209 votes. Then the big one, Mr. Felmoni, been re-elected as president of the Ghana Journalists Association. So that's how it went down across the 10 regions of the country. Araba, back to you in studio. Me clearly, uh, for the benefit of those who might not know, uh, break it down for us. Between uh, Afel Money and uh, his closest contender, uh, Lloyd Evans of Graphic, how much did they make? How many votes were they able to garner? Yeah, so with that uh, position, Lloyd polled 147. You know, we had 501 people voting, and Lloyd polled 147. Uh, Johnny pulled 44, then Afelmoni came in big with 310 votes. Uh, that's, I mean, blew his closest contender, Lloyd Evans, far, far away from him. So this is an emphatic victory for uh, Mr. Afelmoni, his re-election. He just mentioned in the interview that he's going to start with reforms within the association. So in the coming days, in the coming week, we should expect change in leadership, plus also some changes as far as the dynamics within the association. And very quickly, uh, Latif, uh, what's been the reaction of uh, Lloyd Evans to his uh, defeat? He was very confident going into the election that he was going to win. What's been his reaction to the outcome of the election? Interesting, Araba. Uh, Mr. Lloyd didn't show up here at the declaration press conference. Uh, I've been looking for him and can't. Declaration around three on post. When I spoke with him, he told me that the, the, uh, the report process has not been credible and so he doesn't believe in the system and he was raising red flags even before voting ended, even before the sorting, even before the counting and finally the declaration. So clearly, it tells you that Mr. Lloyd lost confidence in the process, and so he didn't show up here at the declaration press conference. So we cannot tell, I mean, his mood, uh, because Araba, he didn't show up at the press conference again. All right, Latif Idris, many thanks for that update. And uh, there you have it, uh, incumbent president of the Ghana Journalists Association, uh, Afel Money, has retained his post, uh, uh, garnering about uh, over 300 of the votes and ahead of his closest contender, Lloyd Evans of the Graphic Communications Group, who managed to garner a little over 100 votes. Now let's move on. And get